Hello, it's Malcolm Torch here from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be reviewing this sapling tree generator add-on for Blender. And this is the result that we're going to get. If you like seeing these types of videos where I do reviews and Blender add-ons and so on and so forth, please hit the subscribe button so you keep up to date with any Blender add-ons that I review in it or any other tutorials that I'm actually doing as well. So from here, we go to first enable, edit, preferences, type in sap, sapling tree, enable, done. Let's start off by deleting the default cube. Shift A, curve, sapling tree generator. And from here, this is what we've got. Now let's come over here into the sapling tree add-on. Let's have a look at some of these options. So at the moment, we're just going to quickly blast through this and you can play with it, but I just want to quickly show you what are the, some of the things that you can do. So even without any leaves at the moment, the faces are at 26,000. I kind of want to just plop that down a little bit. Let's go from geometry and I'm just going to go straight into branch splitting and actually everything looks fine here. Let's, let's go to leaves and from here, I'm going to go show leaves. I don't want hexagonal, hexa, hexagonal, hexagonal. I don't want the six-sided thing. I want to go rectangle. However, I don't want leaves. I want branches. So I'm going to scale the leaf size up to, let's go one. And this is where we can come back to the branch splitting where I don't need so many branches. So let's go branches. We'll bring this down to maybe 30 and we'll go over to about five here. And so you can see we've got plenty of planes to work with. So just by default, I'm going to right click and select the leaves. Now that I've got everything semi-sorted, let's go into shading. I'm going to create a material, new material. We'll call this one leaves. Shift A, search image. I'm going to add an image texture. And what I'm going to actually add is a branch, not just a leaf, but an actual branch. So I'm going to click open and let's find my picture. And we can see that this is the texture that I'll be using. I downloaded it from textures.com. So from here, I'm just going to plug this into the base color just so we can have a look and we can see that it's looking very off. So I'm gonna press tab to go into edit mode, change image editor to UV editor. And then if we just press G, we can actually have a look. Let's just scale this one in, scale on the Y. Oh, they're a little bit stretched, but let's roll with that. So from here, I'm gonna add in a mix shader and let's just move that over. And here I'm gonna add in a transparency, plug that into there. Let's get the alpha, plug it into here, and we'll swap these two shaders. However, we still got nothing. So what we actually need to do is come into the material section because we're using Eevee at the moment, change the blend mode from opaque to alpha blend, and we go tab, and there we have it. We've got our branches coming through. For the tree trunk itself, it's fairly straightforward. However, I'm gonna be lazy and I'm just gonna use extreme PBR. So let's change that to trees bark, sorry, wood bark. And let's pick a bark. Ooh, that one looks nice. Uh, map kit, and let's just enable these, add new. And if we zoom in, we can see that it's all a little bit fluffy, fluffy. Um, so we're just gonna change this from linear to cubic, flat to box blend that in and we need to do that for everything. So let me just do that really quick. And the last thing is we go from UV to object. There we have it. And so if we come out, we can see that we've got our tree and there we go. We've created a very super quick tree. It's not the best, but if you need trees, you can quickly use this. Um, there's also the Grove, I believe, which has wonderful trees, but I haven't acquired that yet. So this is how you use the sapling generator to create trees.